mayor and the city council would like to recognize her many accomplishments and proclaim Friday, December 18th as Candy Burr's Tucker Day in the city of Southwood in Georgia. I'm so appreciative to be able to have a restaurant here in our own community. It was a personal goal to bring more jobs to the community, try to bring more education to the community. I am so thankful and, and, and thank you. When it comes to business and opportunity, I'm gonna continue to be happy, successful, and living my best life. I love the way you work that thing for you. I put a lot of Manuka honey in it. Yes. Since you're not gonna be here for Christmas, I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, we're married now, so we gotta figure out like getting another house here. Mm -hmm. What do you think about me Airbnb and like Bailey on the hill? That's fine. That'd be great. We are gonna get another house, right? Let's see. Here. Yeah. Let's okay. buy another house together. Here. Okay. Like a big house. You know, we like to entertain. You like to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like and get it's out. Bad. You trying to hypnotize me? <laughs> you're getting sleepy. <laughs> Move to Atlanta. You move to Atlanta. <laughs> I'm just happy that whatever we decide to do together, it's gonna be in Atlanta. Like this, is some good. Atlanta is better in a than place. LA. <laughs> <laughs> it's just God and the universe just working it out. You was aggressive with that, sir. <laughs> Separated to us from the dreamers. We the future, the movers, the new leaders. You looking at a legend in the making. Y'all better bring that spirit outside. Yeah. <laughs> Here. We are voting like our lives depend on it. Biden is president, but we are in the middle of a Senate runoff. We're gonna put John Ossoff and Reverend Warnock in those two seats. I'm so thankful to even be a part of this movement. My grandfather fought for voting rights, and so it is full circle that the day we go vote is my grandfather's birthday. Georgia is gonna show up and show out. Can we change those shoes? Oh, he can wear these. What, Tim's? No, thanks. Don't you want to look cute to me, oh, daddy? I mean, I don't really care. So lately, Josiah's biological father has been reaching out, wanting to build a relationship. He needs to be happy. Which ones you want to wear? These. All right, it's JoJo day. The last time he spent time with Josiah was a year ago. A call schedule was agreed upon, and for whatever reason, he just has not upheld that. So I'm attempting to get some understanding on how this can work and how we can move forward. I just texted him the address, so he's 20 minutes away. I am aware that Josiah is reluctant to meeting his biological dad, but getting that confirmation from Ralph made a difference. I want you to know where you came from as well. I didn't have my dad that was around all the time, but I valued him and I love him. Are you hungry? Yes. I'm starving. Don't not cookies. Wait, let's wait for daddy. Whoa, whoa. Jojo, we should try this. Yeah, it looks good. Night. I also want one donut, one cookie. I just want Josiah to stay happy. And so I'm just like, it's Josiah day. Whatever Josiah wants, Josiah's getting it. You want to try this? Absolutely. Nope. No, you got to try everything. That's the rule. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Are you excited? Kind of. When do you think he's coming? Um, well. You have reached the voicemail box of. What is the Wi Fi? Oh, you want oh, the Wi Fi? I'll go ask. Okay, go ask. Is he coming? I don't know. I called him. He didn't answer when I called him. You said he was like 20 minutes away, like 40 minutes ago, right? Oh, God. I'm praying that we didn't come this far for him not to show up. Good. How's the basketball? Oh, yeah. It's going good. You know? Tell him how you doing in school. How do you like the virtual school? Oh, that's what we're doing? It's so-so. It's <laughs> no, it's right here. OK. It's OK. It's not great. Mm -hmm. What else is mm -hmm. going on? Nothing. Ask him, what are you doing in town? But I'm not interested in that. Wow. <laughs> I love the honesty. <laughs> He's hey, so man, he brutally, is brutally honest. honest. I'm here for you. OK. <laughs> Why don't you tell him like a good memory from when you did meet him when he was a baby? Your mother and your grandmother brought you to come visit me while I was away. OK. I did have a relationship that was okay. 
pretty challenging, and I had a son. Um, right. And um, his dad went to jail. Are you so unbothered and uninterested? <laughs> Do you care? Not really. Chandler, what are the rules, baby? Each participant puts their wrap gift under the tree, then take a number. The person who drew one opens a present. The person who drew two can steal the first gift or open a new one. If your gift is stolen, you choose another gift. This continues up until the last person. Who gets to choose between lots of open gifts or one mystery box under the tree? So number one was the best one. No. The best number is number eight. Because you get to pick at the end. Okay, we should have the advantage over late people. One and two would be left for Portia and Drew. Then Mama should get three. If we was playing the game right now, her gift is already here to play. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's a no, <laughs> Shamia. Try it for your friend. Right. But why is she first? Stick up. Because it's my party. Grab one. Okay. Okay, fingers getting caught in the bill. <laughs> I made the jar myself. Uh, we can tell. <laughs> so that one's Marlo. So do we want to see what Marlo has first? Looks like eight. She got the highest number. I'm a proxy. <laughs> no, I'm a proxy. He's, he's our proxy. Okay, what's your number? Five. Five. Number five. That's a good number. I got six. She has seven. Come on, look at seven, look at seven. Yes! <laughs> yes, in your face! All these gifts better be damn good. That doesn't keep it real. It's not no made up story, and so if you just don't want to be honest, then that's fine, but if you're on a spiritual journey, I think the first step is just to tell the truth. But I think the first step is for you to shut up because you don't know what the you're talking about. I was on a four week program with him. He was advising me spiritually every Wednesday. So is that why like your that. mom thought you were with him? Because you got a hotel room for profit life. Am I lying? Yeah. Latoya is a very disrespectful little thing. You're still married and you're breaking up families and happy homes. I really have an issue and I just can't stand by and allow that to happen to people that I care about. I am not talking to no profit lot and if I was, why the hell wouldn't I say so? Oh, I don't know. I'm I mean, not I talking have no idea, but that's what's going on. That's not what's going on. You don't that's know what's, what's going, going on, on in my life. You and Drew were in a good place, not even that what long place? ago. Like, that's you fake. guys were. That's fake. You yeah. guys were going to church together. I don't know when the well, she came into church, but her spirit is that of Delilah, so. What is a Delilah? <laughs> It's a woman that uses her sexuality and projects that sex spirit onto others. And that's who she is, clearly. You gotta tell me about the damn pop-up shop. Lord. So Drew basically he was planning to do a christening for her kids. Right, right. But the pastor or the prophet, no, the prophet, prophet that was right. supposed to be christening her kids started having some type of relationship with Latoya, which was a scandal of some sort. So she had to cancel. She had to cancel the um, christening Christine. because of Latoya. That sounds like a bunch of bitch and boys. Latoya Delilah. She needs to come off of her high horse because I have seen her do many things that make her not look like a great Christian. With, like okay. with Bolo Listen. on the coffee table. So don't try Getting to come banged for me. out. So right. stop. Okay. And Latoya over here blocking blessings, honey. <laughs> Even if LaToya did give the prophet some coochie, Drew is overreacting. So I was in his program. Remember when I was in New Orleans and I wasn't drinking? Well, she oh, says oh, that the prophet oh, was supposed to be engaged to somebody engaged. else who's supposed and to be in love And he's not engaged. You. He's not in love with me. And who cares? He's not married and I'm getting a freaking divorce. Have you guys filed? Yes. She needs to worry about what's going on in her house, build a relationship with the damn treadmill, and leave him the alone. Period. Not a treadmill. Period. 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 Well, they claim that the prophet well, was saying this. The prophet this did not say this. Me. As a matter of fact, know. I'm going to call claim. the prophet. Oh, oh, I'm washing my hands. Um, obviously, I'm sure you probably already know that they accused um, you and Latoya of having some type of relationship. Right, right. I believe they actually said that you admitted to this. The assistant that's involved um, really was being very messy. And because he's the one that introduced me to them, I think it became this intimidation type piece or something because the yeah. assistant and I had a friendship that when he felt like, I guess I was getting you know, this connection with Latoya and then advising her, whatever. It's like everybody got emotional. I never admitted that to them. I just admitted to them 
like that. I was advising her, and I'm not gonna allow anybody to control me. This, this is what I do. There you go, control. So you never had a intimate relationship? No. Okay. I, I thought trying to figure out who's sleeping with a stripper was a nightmare. The whole private thing is way more confusing. Hold on, don't hang up the phone yet. Oh, hold on. Because she told me that I broke up an engagement. Oh, yeah, they said Oh, yeah, were right. you engaged? Oh, yeah, they did. Come on. Are you engaged? Were you engaged? No, I'm not engaged. Have you ever been I'm engaged, engaged this year? I'm not engaged. How many years? Three years ago. Three oh, years ago. Okay. So, Drew yeah. said that you are engaged, yeah, and she said, I broke up the engagement because you're in love with me. No. <laughs> are you in love with her profit? <laughs> We'll talk later. You ain't got to answer that. Plead the fifth like candy. Plead it. Plead the fifth. I made an ass of myself at the dinner. I woke up that morning. I text Portia. Hey, can we talk when you get a moment? Because I, I actually feel... meant to text you back and ask you, how was your back? My back is okay. I have a brace on now. Oh, you have a brace on from when he jumped, when so, the kids jumped? When the kids jumped on my back, yeah. And I'm mad because I want to try and go get lipo, but then I got to wait till my back gets a little better. But you already had lipo. No, I had a light bulb twice. So did he jump on your back before or after you had a light bulb? No, he jumped on my back before. Before you got a light bulb? Yeah. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? What are they talking about? Like, Mar <laughs> I'm so confused. So you got a light bulb Right recently? before the trip. Wait, wait, what are you saying? You did he jump on my back before a light bulb? You got a light bulb right before the trip. No, correct? sweetheart. No, 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 no. Somebody that used the same doctor said that you got lipo like a couple days before the trip. So when you were in couple bed. Couple days before the trip? Yes. But when you were in soldier. bed saying that your back hurt, it was just kind of like, you know. My back hurt. Oh, what's wrong with your back? My nephew jumped on me. Let's all be real and you know what I mean? My appointment's in two weeks. Let's see your stomach without the cuts, then. Not without the cuts. I don't, want, I don't want anyone to attack me. You can cut them lies right on oh, out right now. You want to act like you're so real. You want to hold everybody's feet to the fire. You want to say everybody's some fake bitches. But yet, you went up and laid on the table and got fat sucked off and blamed it on them children. No, ma'am. Really honestly don't know what mark I'm going to get. I have your perspective. He's not here to tell his story. I mean, we can call him. Who blocks the mother of their child's phone calls? Oh, he's oh, peeing wow. in the driveway. Oh, cute. <laughs> what the hell are these big ass gifts? It's a lot of blessings in here. I can sniff out the money. Oh, yeah, honey, sniff. This is like strip club. Oh, one. This is the gift that keeps Please don't walk up on me, girl. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, hello. I definitely feel like she's gotten close to the prophet because she prophesied just when to walk in these doors. <laughs> You weren't looking for God. You better relax. You were looking for some relax. dick. Okay. She's a child Shut to me. Wait, 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 w